We are getting a look at the damage in Dominica, that's southeast of Haiti. Hurricane Maria's eye tore through with winds up to 160 miles per hour. The storm ripped away roofs. You can see knocked through buildings and also destroyed electricity there. More than 70,000 people live here, including some medical students from Texas. Our reporter Daniel Secton FaceTimed with them and he'll have that story ready for you in 30 minutes. Now, I also want you to take a look at Maria slamming the Dominican Republic as well. You can see the wind, the trees just bending to that and also heavy rain. It tore apart buildings. It also brought down power lines. And Rick, uh, when we look right now at Hurricane Maria's track. What are we seeing? Yeah, well, the good news is for the Dominican Republic, the eye of the wall is about 75 miles north of there, and it looks like it's going to avoid them and probably avoid the Turks and Caicos Islands in the Bahamas as well. And I don't think it's going to affect the United States at all as far as uh, Florida and up the East Coast goes. So let's take a look at the latest numbers. It is a Category 3 hurricane at 5 p.m. This advisory just out from the National Hurricane Center. Winds are still at 120 miles per hour. The hurricane hurricane moving down northwest at nine miles per hour. So it's a slow move here. There are those numbers. Once again, there's the Dominican Republic. That eye wall, again, only 75 miles north of the Dominican Republic. The Turks and Caicos Islands, the Bahamas, of course, Florida. Everybody in Florida watching is closely. And there are the warnings. These are hurricane warnings for the Turks and Caicos. And then it's uh, hurricane watches, tropical storm watches as you head up toward uh, the other Bahama Islands there. And then here's what we expect uh, uh, for Maria to do as it moves to the north and northwest and that is stay away from Florida and stay away we think almost surely uh, from most of the east coast a couple of these models do take it uh, close to North Carolina and Virginia but I think we're free of this we don't have to worry about this here in Florida that's good news we'll take a better look at Maria and of course have your complete forecast in a couple of minutes